Hello Collective, this is Rastagal, aka Angelic Empress, welcome you to my channel. If this is your first time tapping in, just want to say Wagwan to all, just treading lightly. <laughs> and thank you everyone for subscribing, being a part of the Rastagal family. Hope I'm raising your vibes. Appreciate everybody that's been with me from day one on my journey. And again, to the new ones. My channel is about healing. It's about just, uh, what is it? Those retrospection, just stepping back, taking little steps forward, just growing through the process of self-love of healing mm -hmm. whether that's with your mental emotional spiritual physical being my channel's not here to judge my channel's not here to just expose but it's here to enlighten my collective consciousness raise your vibes your mind your spirit your soul my channel may not be for everybody, so if you do feel triggered or exposed, you know, the energies are exposed, then click off. I may not be the right tear reader for you. My message is, and I just got very lightheaded when I said that, my message is, is divinely given to me. I share my messages from my higher self, okay, when I feel led to. Again, if my messages does trigger or expose, it's done in love. <laughs> Let my messages be healing. If it doesn't re resonate with you, still let it heal you, but let it go and let it flow. Yes, I'm feeling led to uh, work from my Powering Affirmations deck and then we'll clarify it with my new deck called called the life of a healer hope everyone's doing okay throughout your week we're about to get started just wanted to give that inspiring intro <laughs> uh, all right so thank you again for tapping into my message if it's caught your attention or you've been led by fate Okay. Hope you enjoy my messages and this does heal you in some kind of way for your highest good. I don't have my bell near me, so I'm going to just go ahead and light this incense. Dragon's blood to cleanse my space and energy. Mm -hmm. Cleanse and your space collective send you energy healing. Okay. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, Ra. Amen, Ra. Okay. Ancestors and spirit guides, we're going to do just an energy check in. What messages do you have for my collective today that is going to be inspiring? That will expose and love. Uh-huh. Wow, that one just fell. So I'm going to use it. This whole deck here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, I hope you can see this. Let's see. Let me move my light a little bit. Okay, it says here... Your truth, I'm going to have to write this a little bit in um, another type of uh, ink or marker. Your truth moves mountains. Wow, collective. Your truth moves mountains. Okay, this is telling you to speak your truth. Okay, let it move mountains. Let it raise the vibrations. 
if it exposes energy so be it it exposes the truth Mm -hmm. but it's your truth it's how you feel okay and you have to get it out you have to speak it out you can't keep it bottled in you know you have to speak it out to the universe if you have to cry however you want to express it yell scream to the universe speaking your truth being direct with energies or to people okay in situations take a step back and a breather don't respond in anger is what i found led to say to you but take a step back count to 10 20 30 40 50 come back to the situation with a better perspective of energy and mindset to address the situation okay but your truth will move mountains okay your isolation is a reservation yes it is it is a reservation for something good that is going to occur in your life some occurring events that's going to happen for you it is reservating you to be somewhere you never thought you would be at for your highest good to be in a room amongst the crowd to be at a place where you just never thought you would be to travel your feet steps on that ground or gravel or that sands you know or in the water of the earth just a place you would never thought you would be your isolation is a reservation for you to be there collective that is beautiful wow yes yes you are I was about to say yes I am (laughs) you are getting out of God's way cuz he gets his way way let him have his way with you collective my gosh it is so freeing and so burdenless and just weightless when we just give our troubles to the universe we give our our burdens to God and we continue to move forward aka Ra whoever you serve for your highest good you give that to that energy you just give all your cares and troubles to him believe in and trust in that he will see you through that he will make ways out of no way Mm. you're stepping out of the way collective for him to have his way yes your surrender is God's splendor and it's so sweet for you in return because he's just full of surprises and I can just I don't know I just feel like I can hear him or just hear the universe laugh when they surprise me or surprise you with things that you know you look or turn around and you just be like where does come from or something comes in a mail you least suspect it (laughs) checks in a mail claim that collective to just anything that your heart desires my gosh for your highest good may I add when we surrender to the universe and just focus on moving forward improving ourselves loving ourselves ourselves um, learning ourselves Uh uh-huh doing research research on ourselves and we surrender to the universe to God my gosh he changes a lot of things he turns the world upside down for us individually just to surprise us because we surrender Mm. wow yes you are stepping out of your comfort zone and it is uncomfortable to step out of it 
you know it is and you know the 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 other energies of the lower realms they feed on the fear when you step out of your comfort zone but my gosh the rush that you feel the excitement that you feel all at once on top of the fear to see what occurs, to see what you can do or become, to see what you can have. If you just step your toe in that water, you step out on faith, just tippy toe, just a little, then your foot, then your whole leg. My gosh, we step out on faith. That will out trump the fear. Stepping out of our comfort zone Man, it's a rush, but it's full of excitement and just God's splendor. Continue to step out on, out of your comfort zone. Step out on faith, collective. Mm. Your cup, wow, overflows of new beginnings. My gosh my um sunlight shine through my window here in my room and i had to take a picture i might show it to you um on my community page but i hardly get a lot of um sunlight back here in my room i have to have all kinds of lights in here but when i saw that i just knew i just felt an energy of just good energy watching over me so yes needless to say what i'm saying is i just felt new a new energy just overcame me so yes your cup overflows of new beginnings my oh my continue again having that faith and stepping out just doing something you enjoy doing something you're interested in in learning just doing something you're interested in doing as in like fun activities or just recreational things uh-huh me learning and just taking on things to advance my mind and just my energy it just does something to your whole being I don't know about you it excites me when I learn something new especially if you're interested in it (laughs) so yes your cup overflows of new beginnings Wow welcome to the new life to your new life hey 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 I'm good welcome to your new life collective wow this is beautiful your heart is open to receive love maybe you're seeing the color pinks um, like the card I showed you at first maybe you're seeing the color greens um, in your dreams or just more out and about on your 3d realm Uh uh-huh you are opening up your heart when you heal your heart that's how you're healing your heart is when you're showing yourself the love you're focusing on you you're you're learning about yourself what interests you you know maybe you're possibly here on this earth figuring out trying to figure out your purpose for your highest good again you're taking little steps at a time stepping st- stepping your tippy toe out there you know what I mean to get some fresh air you just wanted to get some sun (laughs) you're stepping out on faith Mm -hmm. possibly you're stepping out in nature going for walks more often maybe you're setting some type of um, goals to better your health not just physically but your mental health your heart you're doing things to heal your heart if it has been broken by showing yourself the love Mm -hmm. compassion and kindness most importantly forgiveness 
your heart is open to receive love beautiful cards i'm happy i didn't put this back you are an angelic divine being my gosh collective yes you are if you resonate with this you are a divine being continue to keep your energy up and high by again loving and focusing on yourself you carry a unicorn magical spirit you must love unicorns maybe you watch the movies on unicorns um they are real they have like a sea creature in the in the ocean that is literally a unicorn unicorn wells i believe so yes they are here in the spirit they are real there's actually a horse confirmation there's actually a horse that um looked very shiny i might see if i could find that on my my uh, news feed to share it with you um collective white horse so shiny all they need is that horn <laughs> but they're very rare and unique horses they are real my gosh mm-hmm. you imagine it and you believe it yes they are real collective mm. so you carry a magical unicorn spirit they are playful they are um pure pure creatures pure at heart mm -hmm. they balance the harmony of light and dark here on this earth collective they have high hopes the energies that these horses bring and carry is of peace and of joy and of love purity and you know they are like just a blessing to be around they're very sacred magical beings you are that collective wow you are that are you becoming that continue to heal your heart enjoy your new journey yes where it said here welcome to the good life so enjoy your journey that you're on you're on a soul love journey or self love journey whatever you want to call your journey enjoy it yes you're going through spiritual training <laughs> trust the process yes collective my gosh don't give up trust the process each and everything that we do here on this earth is if is an experience for us to learn from grow from heal from you know to experience so trust the process it is training that you're going through mentally physically emotionally most importantly spiritually you possess a warrior like spirit my gosh yes you do my warriors warrior warrior <laughs> yes don't give up continue to know that you are the best part of waking up going to bed taking a nap moving amongst here on this earth your life is precious it is meant to be here that's why you're here at this present time stay in the moment collective stay in the current present moment and not give up fight for your peace joy love for your it's your right you possess a warrior spirit and you're going to receive that peace love joy harmony and balance in your life collective claim this message my gosh continue to look at your life through god's eyes yes because he looks at us as his special children as his special precious creation 
no matter what you look like, no matter what your color is, no matter what you came from, your background, no matter what body type you have, no matter what stipulations people put on you, God look at you as marvelous, unique, beautiful, harmonious beings here on this earth. He created this image like him. Okay, you are precious and let no one tell you that you're not. Who God is present in your life and you're not alone exactly. So if you're feeling that way, remember that you're not alone. Okay. Maybe I'm talking to someone that always have to have someone near them or in their company, or you have to be in a crowd with people, or you have to be in a prox promise, proximity of just a body being there beside you. God loves to be with his children alone in serenity and tranquility. Okay, and possibly if this resonates with you, we all have to learn to enjoy our own company, to enjoy our own space, to enjoy just being in our own energy alone. You saw that one card I showed you about isolation. Sometimes you have to be isolated for God to show up, for the spirit guides, angels, your ancestors to speak to you to get through that thick skull or heart uh -huh. to cleanse, clear, heal, to touch, to again, for us to hear the, the tender whispers or the stern voice, however he approaches us. <laughs> he chastises the ones he loves he chases and protects the ones he love that loves him so you are not alone collective okay your spiritual team is there with you and by your side yes nurture your inner child exactly i was just talking about that nurture that your inner self tap in okay do some fun, creative things you used to do as a child. Go to the playground and get on a swing. <laughs> swing on a, on, a, on a swing. Go down the slide if you, can, if you can, you know, make it there and get through it. Okay? Do things that just make you laugh, make you feel silly, make you feel weird. So what? We're all weird in our own way and unique in our own way. How we express it, how we play. I was thinking the other day, and I'm gonna get some kites. I haven't seen that in a while. And I haven't flew kites in a while. And when it's windy, I was like, that would be so cool to just fly some kites in the sky. That's how I think sometimes. The child comes out of me. So my inner child wants me to fly some kites. I'm going to have to get some. <laughs> yeah, go outside and fly a kite. Go outside and throw a frisbee, depending on where you are and your weather. Go outside and dance in the rain. Go outside and wear some rain colorful boots and a rain coat that's so bright and colorful and just go dance in the rain. Ah, go outside during the cold times you need ice cream i eat ice cream any type of weather or season that it brings i eat ice cream whenever <laughs> mm. go outside and blow bubbles go outside and roll in the grass <sighs> go outside and lay in the grass go outside and create snow angels just depending on where you are in your weather Build an igloo, build a snowman, tap into your inner child. It heals you when you do that. Wow, show kindness, take breaks, but also show kindness 
to break the weakness in energies and in people. Continue to show kindness within yourself first. And then show kindness to those that harm you. Show kindness to those that are mean-spirited. You don't have to say much. You just smile. That will just throw them in a tinsy. <laughs> that will turn them tipsy-topsy upside down while you're just smiling or even just laughing. My gosh. But it just shows that energy in those people, whoever, whatever, that they can't break your soul, that they can't steal your joy. Uh huh. You're just full of happiness and joy, laughter, beyond the sadness, uh huh, after you experience that. And we'll have our ups and downs. But still show kindness to yourself and to your enemies, to the foes. Uh huh. From a distance. Uh huh. And if they are near you and you can't always escape from that energy or environment, you still exude that joy, happiness, and kindness and love within yourself. I'm telling you, your light and your energy will just shine so bright it's like a repellent they're like the bugs and you're the repellent <laughs> my gosh your kindness repels your your good energy and high vibrations will repel those energies wow you attract a soul tribe you're working on that collective Okay. I'm possibly attracting my soul tribe here on this channel, which is awesome. I'm enjoying what I'm doing here, and I enjoy the messages that I give my collective. And it's growing my soul tribe and my channel. I'm attracting my soul tribe here on this 3D. I'm claiming that message effortlessly. And you're possibly praying for... To be around new energy and just new people and just new atmosphere, you are walking away. You're turning your back from the past energies and people that you were so used to and conditioned to be around. You're looking to change that energy around. You're looking to turn your back and move forward to attract the right soul tribe, energy, love, peace, joy, harmony in your life. You're telling the universe, I am done with the past energies and whatever and whoever was in my life from the past is of the past. And you're blasting through in this newfound energy from the cards, all the cards that I, I showed you here. You are welcoming your new life my gosh this is awesome your cup is overflowing of new beginnings that whole deck fell out to tell you this today your energy you know enjoy this new journey you are on this new energy you're in and trust the process wow my magical unicorns Wow, because you are opening your heart. By you opening your heart and you speaking your truth, being this warrior energy that you possess, again, is opening up new doors, is opening up just new life, is opening up new opportunities collective is opening up a new energy within you that you are exuding here you're vibrating out here in this universe out here on this planet and it's attracting your soul tribe my gosh i just felt it in my root chakra yes claim this collective Ooh, that was beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Mm. The bottom card shows here. You find peace in your solitude. Exactly. Exactly. Continue to, again, love and learn yourself and working on yourself. And enjoy your own company. It's nothing more and nothing better to feel at peace and confident, empowering to be able to go to the movies by yourself, to be able to go outside in this world and travel by yourself, to go outside and just relax in your own solitude and peace by yourself at a park, at a beach. Uh huh. Just walking up and down the street by yourself confidently. Going to a restaurant to eat by yourself confidently and be at peace my gosh that is so much more farther so much more precious than anything your peace of mind your tranquility and solitude loving yourself this one card came out this is the only color card that came out so it's a lot of heart healing that's going on you're constantly working on speaking truths to yourself speaking positivity into your life and into others collective you must be vibrating at this frequency this is a pink card usually the green one is showing a heart chakra this is the highest of the high you're showing yourself the love you deserve and that you will receive from others. It said there you're collect you are attracting your soul tribe. Uh-huh. You are attracting your soul tribe. Because you're speaking your truth. You're loving yourself, healing your heart. You're being glad. You're showing yourself gratitude and the universe. You're being thankful and grateful, not ungrateful, of what you have and where you are. My gosh, you are vibrating at this high heart healing frequency. This is a heart healing message and activation at this time for you to continue healing your heart. I'm loving this energy and messages that's coming out. My gosh, by you doing all that, this was on the top. You got that bottle of love, baby. You got the love that I want. <laughs> and you got the love that I need. Mm-hmm. You telling the universe you want that butter love. And you're going to receive it by the significant person or whoever God is creating, shaping, and molding for you. In your frequency, in your energy. You are attracting this butter love. Mmm. It is sweet. It is pure. It is magical. It is sacred. It is pure. It is playful, joyful. It's peaceful. My gosh. It is freeing. Because love is not possessive. It is freeing. My gosh, collective. That is what you're attracting. Mm, 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 mm. We're going to clarify my deck mm -hmm, from my life of a healer. Okay. Ancestor spirit guides. I'm trying to see. Should I do that? Let's do one card. One card. And we'll pick out some other cards. One card. Can we give an aspiring positive, <laughs> positive message from this deck? Wow. There we go. You are working on your heart chakra. My gosh. That is of the green chakra. And that would be your fourth 
chakra, I believe. Yep, your fourth chakra. So four can be significant. So that is from my... And that is maybe telling you to wear the color green to help heal and work on that. Eat some greens. Plant a tree. <laughs> Walk on the soil, the grass. Just get out in nature. Whatever you need to do to work on healing your heart. I picked out some flowers today. I went for a nice walk and picked out some beautiful yellow flowers to brighten up my day. Yes. Another one behind it. Yellow. You are working on your solar plexus. That would be your third chakra. Mm. By you healing your heart, that helps that helps you with your heart literally within your body to recover to pump more natural and to pump naturally how it should pump and to fill you are doing some heart healing repairing within your body on the 3d realm as well as the 5d realm beautiful continue to eat the best you can it's okay to treat yourself and to snack here and there. But, you know, to get back on track on the heart healing, solar plexus, you are stepping out, getting out of your comfort zone to work on your passions, your creating. You possibly are doing things to help work on your gut health. Uh-huh. This is of yellow. This is the third chakra. You could be seeing fours or threes a lot. Okay. A lot of chakras is coming out here. You are working on your second chakra. You could be seeing twos. That's orange. You can wear these colors to also um, add more healing, uh -huh, more creativity to your life. The colors definitely raises the vibes here on this earth and your energy and frequency. Okay orange you're working on your physical and controlling and containing yourself physically okay from temptation and just from urges you're following your passions again the desires of your heart you're not letting your flesh take over you're having some type of control physically mentally emotionally over your body you're taking care of your temple you're not opening it up for Susan, Ben, and Sally, and Ken. No. You are preserving yourself. That is beautiful, Collective. I talked about speaking your truth. You, are, you must be seeing blue. Okay, That represents the throat chakra. That is the fifth chakra. You could be seeing fives. Speaking your truth moves mountains, collective. That is beautiful. All these chakras are coming out, possibly. You're working on chakra healing. Your third eye. You're working on clearing that. You're working on healing that. You're working on activating that. That is the color purple. Mixed with blue. Okay, you possibly are seeing colors out there on the 3d realm you're seeing the auras you could be activating or the spirit realm if they feel you're ready they're activating your third eye for you to see auras for you to see color for you to see beyond the physical realm my gosh mm. beautiful yes when you can, do some moon um, gazing, okay? Female energy. Do some moon gazing to help balance your light and dark, to help enlighten your mind. You be that light within the darkness. You shine your light. You work on your shadow self. You're working on your healing. You're letting that... You're, you're, using the darkness to over trump 
anything you went through by healing yourself in solitude. Uh huh. It is over trumping your past energy, your past hurts. You are embracing the moon, you're embracing that energy to heal collective. It's like a reverse psychology type of energy I'm feeling. Okay, let's see. <laughs> yes, you're balancing your light and dark. That's funny. When you balance your light and dark, you're co-creating uh -huh, something beautiful. Wow. Wow, collective. <laughs> Pluto. Okay. I think um, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. He, they, um, they represent Pluto, I believe. So I could be talking about that energy. Mm. I'm talking about controlling that house. Uh huh. I'm talking about, because that's the smallest planet, but it can impact and be so powerful. Mm -hmm. And you know what Scorpio, like their house, you know what they possess. Transformation, life and death, rebirth. Uh-huh. Wow, collective. This is talking about the spirit baby. Okay? Someone could be co-creating to eventually have a spirit baby here on this planet. <laughs> that's that's I'm think I guess I'm talking about that butter love you're attracting. It's going to also co-create a spirit baby. My gosh, collective. I'm just pulling from the top from my deck. This is beautiful. Beautiful message. Wow. Spirit baby is waiting to be here. <laughs> but you got to be in good spirit, good energy, be in a good frequency. But when it's time, it's time. When it comes, it comes. No matter what, nothing can stop or prevent this spirit baby from coming and it could be of a girl or a boy or you could have twins <laughs> mm. 404 mm. your hard work is paying off and is being protected spiritually so let's all continue working on ourselves you know work on things that we enjoy and our heart desires and find pleasure in for our highest good. You are protected, collective. When you see this, or you could be seeing four, 404. Mm. Wow. You are receiving sponsors and recognition, recognitions and contracts. Possibly that is occurring or will occur. If you are working on your own business or working on a side hustle, uh -huh, or you currently are working in a field you really enjoy, you're going to pretty much elevate. Uh -huh. You are getting recognition and you will receive contracts and sponsors. Wow, collective. This is beautiful message. My gosh. Mm. And I'm going to leave you with this. Signs from the universe. That your angels and spirit guides are here and present and supporting you. My gosh. That is so, just so awesome to feel and to know and to hear. And you could be seeing signs. Like I was telling you earlier, I saw the sun shine through my window back here in my room and it was just very rare to see that since I've been here and it was beautiful and I was in awe to see the sun 
see some light <laughs> my gosh so the universe is supporting you collective wow i'm gonna go ahead and do this last one the universe is supporting you continue to be your authentic self because your talents is being or has been discovered my gosh my gosh your talents is being or has been discovered who telling you it's coming through it is coming through sponsors recognition and contracts continue to be yourself continue to work on your chakras and your healings the chakra cards i showed you was card activation cards to work on your chakras and to heal those confirmation yes those are activations beautiful well give me a thumbs up collective if you enjoyed this inspiring empowering message i was just so glad to uh, use my deck for this message today subscribe like and share my message i hope this raised your vibes until next time this is rasta gal aka angelic empress see you take care and peace